I'm at Bionic Wellness and I'm about to do my float session. I'm really excited and looking forward to this entire session. It's going to be phenomenal. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today, as you can tell from the title of the video, I am coming to you with an amazing experience that I had just over a year ago with a sensory deprivation tank, a float tank, salt float, salt float therapy, float therapy, whatever name you know it by. I tried it and I'm going to tell you what that experience was like and whether or not you should try it for yourself. A little over a year ago, I was in Sydney, Australia on business and I was living out of the Four Seasons Hotel, an amazing hotel. I was there for about two and a half, three weeks, either just under or just over three weeks. My memory is like not very clear around that right now. And while I was there, I wanted to try a few experiences and do something that I don't normally do at home. One of which was an amazing day of like, tantric pampering massage sound therapy but that's for another video chat on this particular day i decided to try float therapy or sensory deprivation because i had heard so much about it and i'd heard lots of people have all of these great benefits from floating and so i wanted to experience that for myself a float tank, also known as a sensory deprivation tank, is a lightless, soundproof tank filled with salt water at body temperature. The Epsom salt concentration in the water allows you to effortlessly float weightlessly. The environment is designed to help you minimize any external stimulation and achieve a deep state of relaxation. The absence of gravity takes away pressure from your joints and muscles, allowing for a full body release and relaxation. Accelerated muscle recoveries, reducing stress, helps mental health, improved sleep, and it also helps to boost feelings of well-being. Float therapy is a unique experience that harnesses the science behind float tanks. The tank environment aims to create a different experience from the real world, hence sensory deprivation. The external stimulus is eliminated, giving you the opportunity to switch off and let your mind and body rest, thus lowering stress levels, enhancing recuperation, and maximizing recovery time. It's recommended to wear earplugs to reduce any external sound. When I was in Sydney, I went on Google, because you know, Google everything, and I did a search for Salt Float Sydney. And this company called Bionic Wellness came up. And I was like, all right. So I went on their website, which allowed me to really like look around, see what they offered. And they have a few other services, which when I go back to Sydney, whether for business or pleasure, I will definitely be visiting them again and trying some of the other services. And I looked at their website, made my booking for the float therapy and went in. Now they have two locations, one in Surrey Hills and one in Rose Bay. Surrey Hills was pretty close to I think where I was staying, I say pretty close, but you know, it's all relative. Uh, but since I knew that area, because I'd been staying in that area and walking around that area, I wanted to try something different because I also wanted to get out and explore a bit more of Sydney. So I decided to visit their Rose Bay location. From the moment you walk up, it just has a very like, aesthetically pleasing exterior, very nice and calming once you walk inside. And it really gave me the opportunity to see exactly what I would be experiencing. The environment is very like wholesome, but luxurious, but minimalistic at the same time, which I know listening to those three descriptors may seem like that conflicts a bit, but it works for them. Once I booked my experience, I received a, I think I called or they called me, I don't remember, or, and then they also followed up on email. So one of the things that they told me was, do not shave 
any part of your body or wax any part of your body before you come into flow. Once I was there, I walk in, you're greeted by the receptionist and because you have an appointment, they're expecting you. They give you the rundown. Uh, they let you know what's available to you either before or after your float. Once I get to my float room, the esthetician explains to me what all of the different functions are. You're required to take a shower before, preferably cold water. They give you a headrest. You can do the session as an individual or as a couple or with a friend. So the float tank, the one that I was in, was able to accommodate two people, but I was on my own. Oh, I could be in total darkness. I could be in twilight. They have music that they pump in. They suggest that you come either in a bathing suit or you can wear your birthday suit, whatever you felt comfortable in. And since I was on my own and I did not bring any swimwear with me that trip, I was in my birthday suit. If you do decide to do float therapy, the only expectation you should have is to just let go and relax. All right guys, so I just had my shower and I'm about to get into the tank. So let me grab the headrest. I guess this goes like that. Oh, the water feels lovely. Let me get my headrest on. Okay, so the headrest is on. Um, oh, one of the things they mention is not to shave beforehand because the irritation on your skin that shaving can have, um, you'll be stinging in the salt water. Now, I didn't shave, but I did have a couple of ingrown hairs that I plucked, and even though they came right out, um, it still feels a little sus. Um, so I definitely feel a little bit of that burning, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start my session and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Whew. I just finished. Oh, the, it burns. My shower. <laughs> I'd forgotten to take out my contact lens. Do not be like me and forget to take out your contact lens. I'm back, I'm just finished. I am about to step out of the bath um, and go take a shower because i did it in australia everything was in australian dollars and it cost me 75 australian dollars that's just under 50 bucks in u.s dollars a float session from what i've seen um here in new york where i live is around 100 bucks so it was a lot less expensive in australia which is one of the reasons why i opted to do it there but I definitely will be doing float sessions here in New York. I actually found out that there's a float center not too far from where I am. And it's the only one in Westchester. So you know your girl's going to be there. Which I guess from that you could already tell how I feel about floating. So for half of my session, or I'm assuming it's half, I don't know. I played around. I asked them to leave on the music. So that was the only thing that I asked them to do. And that way... I would know when my float session was over because then the music would stop. For part of the session, I had the Twilight Twinklies on and then for the other half, I turned that off and I was just in total darkness with the meditation music playing. I will say next time I go, I would definitely get goggles, which I don't know how that would affect my experience because then that's something for my senses. It's like something that's touching me. But in terms, like I didn't mind taking out my contacts, but I also was like paranoid that water was going to seep into my eyes. Even though it's only like 10 inches or 12 inches of water in the float tub. Still, my paranoid self was like, nah, girl. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to approach that. You also get um, earplugs, which with the earplugs in, it made it harder for me to hear when the music stopped but it also helped with the sensory deprivation. I will tell you, my float experience, just as a first timer, it was absolutely awesome. If you're someone who struggles with letting go and relaxing, if you're someone who struggles with high stress, if you're someone who can't find time to 
just really unplug and relax try floating for my first time i will definitely say like it took me a while to get in the groove and this is from someone who meditates quite frequently okay it took me a while to get into the groove i think i was a little bit too much in my head even though i wanted to have this profound experience i was so taken away not taken aback i was so taken away into my mind just being able to let go i was able to relax I released so much tension. I had wished that I had done a massage as well. This place didn't offer that, but some float centers do. But I did wish that I had a massage afterward because I hear like when you do floating and then you do your massage, it almost like speeds up that time where you're on the massage table and you're like, so that way your like muscles are like really malleable. The float takes care of all of that child. So then you do your float, you hop on a massage table and literally you're like a puddle, I hear. That's what I'm gonna try next. I had had some like aches and pains. I, it, it was a profound experience. I think everyone should float at least once in their life. I was struggling with like, am I actually gonna float? Like I really was a little bit too much in my head. And usually I'm not like really in my head about things like that. So it's weird that I was, but if you're one of those people who's very much in your head, just really try to suspend, which is weird because I did an ayahuasca trip and I, one of the things that they tell you is to just let go, surrender. I was able to surrender for ayahuasca. For this, it took me a while and I'm not sure why. So my advice would be surrender. Don't have any expectations, just surrender and trust. As a novice swimmer, I can back float real easy, whether in a pool, in the ocean, I have no problem. In this little old float tank, I don't know what my issue was. I just was like, I think I was literally just two in my head. An amazing experience. All right, folks, so that was my float experience. What was your float experience like? One of the things I will tell you is after my session, the aesthetician who was at the center did ask me how I enjoyed everything. Did I want like any tea? I think I did have a cup of tea. They offer water. Uh, they also have like hair dryer and stuff like that for you to use afterward. I opted not to. I just went with like wash and wear. As always, folks, thank you so much for allowing me to share a piece of your world. And thank you so much for sharing a piece of mine. Until our next video, Avita Zen.